you are a 10 year old like me, there's only one day you look forward to the most in the year. Besides Christmas, Chinese New Year, National Day, oh, and my birthday. Uh, oh, where was I? Oh yeah, that is the last day of school. That's when the school holidays start, and that means an overseas trip for me. This year, I'm going to sunny Hawaii, island paradise with beautiful sun, sand, and sea. I can't wait! I already packed one month ago! I don't know how much it costs to go on a trip like this, but I know it's not cheap. But don't worry, my parents are paying. I know, I am so lucky. Oh, by the way, my name's Steven. Steven, we're home. Mom, Dad, I downloaded all this information about Hawaii. That's great. So, when are we leaving? Steven, there's been a slight change in plans. We're not going to Hawaii. We are not? We are going somewhere even better. You mean Disneyland? No. Better! You mean the NASA Space Center? No! Even better! We are going to spend time with Ama at Pulau Ubin. Pulau Ubin. Pulau Ubin. It hit me like a punch in the face. It felt like the end of the world. No white sandy beaches with clear blue waves. No surfer dudes and no hula girls. Steven, are you okay? No way I'm going to some boring island like Ubin. I'm going to have a good talk with my dad. Man to man. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I want to go to Hawaii. We go next time, okay? I don't care, you promise. We just can't go now. Why not? Because we just can't. Then I'd rather stay at home. We can't stay home also. Why not? Look, I already promised your ama that you spend your school holidays with her at Pula Ubin. That's not fair. Sometimes life is unfair, but we just have to deal with it, right? I don't care. I'm not going and nothing you say is going to make me change my mind. took the early bumble from Changi Jetty to Pulau Ubin the next morning. Hey, I'm only 10. Do you actually think I can defy my dad? Can you smell that, Steven? Fresh air! I haven't even reached Ubin yet, but already, I'm hating it. Our family seldom visits Ama at Ubin. The only time we go is during Chinese New Year. But for the last few years, I managed to skip all our visits to Grandma's place. The first time, I felt a little guilty. Stephen, time to visit Ama. Uh, can I not go? Why? Uh, uh ah, stomach ache. What's wrong? Next year, it didn't feel so bad. Steven, time to visit Ama. Uh, ah, I stomach ache. And this year, it was easy. Oh, I'm not feeling. Ama, give you one. Thanks, Dad. I can't remember exactly why I stopped going to Ama's place, though.
Pulau Ubin, my old home. Isn't it lovely? Yes. From here, Pulau Ubin does look charming, but I prefer to just look at it from here. The truth is, I'd rather be on a plane now, flying to sunny Hawaii. I miss this place. Me too, dear. Steven, this place has the sun, the sand and the sea as well. It's not so bad. It's worse. What am I going to do here? Do they have cable TV? By the way, Ahmad's TV broke down. I'm sure you find other stuff to do, right? Like what? The stuff. <laughs> anyway, we, we better hurry up. Ahmad's waiting for us. This is terrible. No TV, no computer, no games. I think I'm going to die. Steven. Eh, cheer up. Everything's gonna be okay. Come on. Maybe it's not as bad as I think. Maybe I'm going to enjoy it here. Maybe... What's that smell? <laughs> My gosh, Stephen, you stepped on dog poo. Great. <laughs> We took a ride on one of the island's taxis to my grandma's place. My parents couldn't wait to get there. Do you also remember this place? This is where I'm going to spend the next six weeks of my school holidays. Great. Hey, you are here. Yeah. <laughs> Steven? Steven? Come. Call Ama. Ama. This is Steven. Ah. Ayo, so big already. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I suddenly remember why I stopped visiting Ama so long ago. Ama, I'm 10 years old already. Yeah? Why so long never come visit Ama? It's a pineapple tart spot. What pineapple tart? Never mind. What smell is that? Um, Steven stepped on some dog poo just now. Dad! <laughs> <laughs> why are you so clumsy? Never mind. I'm gonna show you where to wash. Come, come, come. <laughs> now, use this water. Oh, thank you, Amma. <laughs> so how? You like it here? Like it? I just stepped on smelly dog poo, nearly got my face rearranged. And on top of that, there's no TV. What do you think? Uh, I love it. Good. A boy so excited about you all coming. Keep talking and talking. A boy? Yeah. Your cousin. You forgot already. Ah? He stay here with me. Quite lonely. Poor boy. But now you can play with him. Can ask Xiao Min also. Xiao Min? Is she another cousin? No, 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 no. She's the neighbor's little girl. When you settle down, I will call her over. You watch here, I go and help Papa. A boy? Ah, yes. My cousin, a boy. The cry baby. Maybe spending school holidays here isn't such a bad idea after all. It's going to be fun bullying my cousin again. Ah, let me go, let me go. Who's that? You guess? A boy? Good, at least you remember me. Okay, I remember you. Now, let me go. Let you go? Not so easy. Hey, is this a way to treat your cousin? I should be asking you that. By the way, what's the smell? Uh, I, I step on dog poo. You want some? Yeah! I was seeing stars and had double vision. But I finally had a good look at my cousin for the first time in many years. This is not the crybaby I remember from so many years ago. What are they feeding him in Ubin? Welcome to Ubin, cousin. It's payback time. G -g Great. You bleed me when you're four, remember? Uh, wow, you have a very good memory. I do that or with a very wow imagination. Are you sure it was me? I will never forget you. I was that good, huh? See how good you are now. Wait, wait. I'm sure there's a better way of solving this other than using your fist. I can hit butt and drop kick too. Wait. 
Ah, look over there, a snake! Ayo! Careful! Dad, help! What? What's wrong? A boy! Uh, uh, we were just playing catching. Oh, great, go play outside. No, but... Have you washed your shoes already? I told him to wash, but he wanted to play instead. Hey, Steven, you want to hold us more like dog poo, is it? No, he tried to beat me up. A boy, you want to die? Ah? He's lying. Steven, how can you lie? No, I'm not. Ah, yeah, boys will be boys. Let them fight. Lah. I remember I used to fight your uncle. My dad and our boys' dad both grew up in Ubin. The only difference is my dad is still around, but our boys' parents are not. Hmm, I once overheard my parents say, they died in an accident or something. Stephen, why don't you take a shower instead? That's a good idea. Look at you, sweating all over. A boy, you show him how. Why me? Remember what I told you. You must take care of a cousin, right? I'll take care of him. Go, go. That was close. Hey, is that a well? Yeah, never see one before. We have taps at home. Do you know where the water from your taps come from? Uh, not really. City boy, don't know anything. Then do you know where the water from your well comes from? See, kampong boy, don't know anything. No. Anyway, use this to get water. How? Oh, use your eye power. What? Use your hands, like cow face. I could do without the name calling, okay? Uh, yeah, I show you. You hold the rope, and then you tilt the pail left and right, left and right, and let the water go inside the pail. And then when it's full, then you pull it up. But if you don't have the muscles like mine, then you only need to fill half pail. Get it? I could do without the insults as well. Any questions, city boy? Yes. Uh, you wouldn't by any chance have a water heater system here, right? Yeah! Do you want aircon also? You have aircon? Yeah! Go back, Singapore. So cool. Yeah, kampong is like, you don't like, you don't bathe. But I can take it. Oh, yeah. One more thing, water is very precious here. So, we only use one pail to bathe. What? I'm sorry, did I hear you say one pail? Yep, one pail. How do you bathe with one pail? I don't know. Your cousin? I don't know. Stephen, where did you go? To bathe. Where? I didn't see you. I prepared the hot tub and was looking all over for you. Hot tub? Yeah. I boil hot water. But I thought you could only use one pail to bathe. How do you bathe with one pail of water? Yeah, how? But... Ama, I'm going to use the hot water to bathe now. Go, go, go. First day in Ubin, and I'm glad to say I can't wait to go back home. Everything's so different here. So many things I'm not used to. I mean, they sleep at 8. Who sleeps at 8? Hey, stop doing what I'm doing and go to sleep. City boy. Stop calling me city boy, you kampong boy. You say one more time, I'm going to break your hand and leg. There's one more thing I'm not used to. It's too quiet.
taking this anymore. I want to go home! I didn't pack. I didn't even change. I just took off on my cousin's bike and raced all the way to the jetty, hoping to catch my parents before they leave for work. But my whole world had already fallen apart and I didn't even know it. Steven, mom and dad are just going to work. You don't have to come and send us off, you know. Can I come with you? What? I won't disturb you. I'll just sit in the corner and you can do your work. Steven, go back and play with your cousin, okay? No, I want to go back with you. Steven, be a good boy and go back to our mom's place. I'm not going back. Why not? I'm going to die if I stay another day here. Steven, don't be ridiculous. Please, I really don't want to stay. We've had enough of your nonsense, okay? The reason we brought you here to stay is to let you become more independent so that you stop being such a spoiled brat. So grow up, Steven. Why must I stay here? I miss my computer games. I miss TV. I miss home. There's no more home, Steven. What? Steven, we're going through some difficulties in our business at the moment. So we have no choice but to stay here with your ama for the time being. You guys are not leaving me, are you? Of course not. But we have to go back to Singapore every day to work. Don't worry. Your dad and I are going to fix it. Bear with it a little, okay? Yeah, Steven. I know it's very difficult for you. Bear with it for us, okay? We gotta go. We'll talk when we get back, okay? This time, it really felt like the end of the world. Am I going to be stuck on Ubin forever? Today, First day of my life. I just found out I have no more home and I could possibly be stuck on Ubin for the rest of my life. What else could go wrong? Great, more trouble. So, you didn't cycle all the way back to Singapore? I realized the best way to deal with a menace like him is to simply ignore him. Plus, I wasn't in the mood anyway. Why so quiet? Too full after eating all those watercolour for your breakfast? That's it. There's no way I can ignore that. I decided it's time I listen to that and deal with it like all grown-ups do. What are you doing? Come on, put it up. Fight! I'm not gonna fight you. Why not? I do chicken. Clack, clack, clack. That's it. You sold it this time. Come on. I'm going to show him I can give it as good as I can take. I'm a lean, mean fighting machine. I can even beat him with my eyes closed. Look over there, there's a monkey! <laughs> Unfortunately, that was my best punch. You call that a punch? I was only testing. Oh, really? Hey, look over there, a crocodile. I'm not going to fall for that another time. Wait, I know Taekwondo. I may break your hand or leg. Oh, really? Well, go ahead. Because I'm going to close my eyes. This is as much insult as I can take. I charge straight at him. Yeah! Give uh, up! Never. Then I'll stay here until you give up. Uh, release me or else... Or else what? No one's here to save you. Release him. Who's that? I'm Xiao Min, our boy's neighbor. What are you doing here? I heard Ama say your cousin's here, so I came to say hi. That must be him. Help me! Hey! There's no way to treat a cousin! Release him! Buzz off! I might be a girl, but don't force me. I might be a girl, but don't force me. I don't like to use violence, but you leave me with no choice. But you leave me with no choice. That's it. Yeah! Ah, ah. Give up? Never! What about air leg long? Okay, 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 I surrender! That was the coolest thing anyone has done for me. Really? Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, I'm Steven. Call me Xiao Min. The next time our boy bullies you... Yeah, I know what to do. You know Ushu also? Uh, no, but you do. I felt giddy all of a sudden. It was a good giddy though. All my problems just disappeared. Maybe Ubin isn't so bad after all. Hey, about what happened?
happened just now. If you dare tell anyone... Uh, don't worry, I won't tell a soul. But since I might be spending the rest of my life here, I might as well say that I'm sorry if I ever bullied you the last time. It's alright. I guess I was too much also. So, we are even? Come on. Where are we going? I'm going to show you around, cow face. I could still do without the name calling. Or maybe you want water colour as your breakfast tomorrow. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, cow face is good. Uh, sounds cute. <laughs> Let's go. A boy turned out to be quite a cool dude. Maybe staying here isn't as bad as I thought. But I'm going to miss my home in Singapore. For now, Ubin is going to be my new home. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. Who knows, maybe I'll find some exciting adventure just waiting for me.